guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd sit down, do a little review, honest review on the cake bites. So I actually did bite into these already. But I've had a few of these flavors before, but I kind of can't remember what I thought of them because I just ate them when I was hungry. And now we're gonna try them again. So they also have the cake batter flavor. I've had that and I know for a fact that it's not bad, it's just super sweet. So we're gonna be trying out five other flavors. They have six total. And um, we're gonna go through them. So, first one is the Cake Bites Deliciously Wrapped Whipped Protein Snack. And I'll tell you guys the macros on these. So these ones have the macros that are kind of like the oh yeah nutrition bars. So this one is in the flavor dark chocolate cherry or chocolate cherry. That's what the inside looks like. Looks a little orange on this one. But it tastes just like cherry. Mmm. That has cherry, so if you don't like cherry, you might not like this one. It's very chewy. I would rate the chocolate cherry ones an 8 out of 10. I like cherry. I like them. They're just not a 10 out of 10 for me. So the next flavor is the berry cheesecake. It just looks like this. Macros on it are the exact same, so I'm not going to keep going over the macros, but this is in berry cheesecake, so it's blueberry. And I'm guessing cheesecake flavored with a white chocolate coating. Oh, this smells good. Oh, this one's creamier. The other one was not as creamy. This one looks like it's more whipped. Oh, yeah. This one's so fluffy in comparison. I like this one. Mm. If you're really in the mood for mixed berries... These are good. Mmm. Mmm. This one's good. And it doesn't taste too artificial. This one's definitely good. Mmm. I would rate this one a 9 out of 10. I like this one better than the cherry chocolate. So, with that being said though, there's three left. The one that I'm like super excited about is this one. But I'm gonna have this one last. So now we're gonna do the red velvet one. So this one is just the red velvet. Looks like this. That's what it looks like. Some people have told me that they don't really think protein bars should be red velvet flavored, but like I'm telling you guys right now, I love red velvet. So I didn't think the blueberry one would be a good flavor, but it is, so. This one's not as whipped. I don't know if that means it's like older in packaging or if that just means that like the formula is a little different. This one's definitely super chewy. And definitely tastes more artificial. Like, I'd rate this one a 5 out of 10. It has a good aftertaste, but like, the immediate taste isn't that great. I don't think I would go and buy this one again, but I would definitely get the blueberry one. Now we're going to try the chocolate mint flavor. This is what it looks like. Same macros. Actually, this one has different macros. This one has 1 gram less of fat and 1 gram less of carbs. So it's only 230. I'm guessing it's probably because of like what they put in it to flavor it for the actual flavoring. Okay. So this is just what this one looks like. Apparently it's green. The inside on the packaging says it's green like a Thin Mint, but it's not. And the formula is a little bit more whipped. But I am telling you guys right now, it could be because this one's newer and hasn't been in the packaging as long. But it's a lot less dense, if that makes sense. It tastes like a York peppermint patty, too. But more like a Thin Mint, but less crunchy. Alright, so last but not least, we're going to be trying the Cake Bites right here in the Chocolate Frosted Donut flavor. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. I heard about this flavor, um, and I never heard anyone's opinions. These ones do have 250 calories, so the macros are a little different. It has 25 carb, 20 protein and then eight grams of fat look at this there are straight up sprinkles here and it looks like it's like a light vanilla y color on the packaging this one looks more true to the photo than the other one mmm the texture is definitely less hard than the cherry and the red velvet but it's not as light and fluffy as a blueberry mint but this one would definitely be a really good dessert like i could definitely see this being something that like if i wanted a donut and i was in prep or something like that 
or just try to lose weight this one's good and like the sprinkles give it a fun flavor like taste crunch you know so my thoughts on this one i had to really think about it because the big thing for me is the fact that like i had such hype and like proudness i guess <laughs> like i had high expectations that's the best way to put it i had really high expectations for this one and it's an 8 out of 10 but like it's not a bad 8 out of 10 it's just does it taste like a whole donut? No. But does it taste bad? No. It tastes really good. Um, the big thing is you have to remember it's protein bar. This one's really good though. I would highly recommend it over the other flavors that I rated out of 8 out of 10. So it's like an 8.5 out of 10. These two on the other hand are so good. So I love the mint and I love the blueberry. Blueberry first. Mint is like a peppermint patty. So if you're really into like that kind of stuff for you a sweet tooth this one hits it and so does this one the macros on them are a little bit different mint has a little less this one has a little um bit more and then this one has the most so the other ones are like in the 240 range but then this is kind of like least to most so with that being said though i liked all of them i would actually buy them for anything if you guys are wondering how you can use these in your lifestyle a big thing that i would do and that i did when they first came out with the um cake batter ones I would take those and I'd only eat one because the big thing for me is that like, yeah, you can eat all of these, but if you have a sweet tooth craving and you eat the entire thing, but then you like want to eat Halo Top, like it's not going to work out. So my big thing is I would pack these and then like individually Ziploc them and just eat one at a time because it does, it does curb your cravings. Um, after the first mint one, I was done. I didn't really need more than that, but it really helps curb the cravings. So if you guys are looking for an alternative to your sweet treats, this is a really good one. Um, it's high in protein and it helps you fit your macros because the ratio is just a little higher in carbs and then a little lower, like protein's the next and then the fat. So the macros are pretty nice. So with that being said though, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Figured I would just kind of like put this out there for you because I know a lot of you guys ask me questions about food and these cake bites. Actually a really good alternative. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye babes. All right, guys, that wraps up another video in this series, New Year, Better Me. I hope that you guys enjoy. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Snapchat, my Instagram, hit me up, leave a comment down below, and just, you know, sound off. Love you guys.